What's up everybody, today we're going to be doing a quick update on the 20 gallon tall Koi Paludarium. So if you watched the last video, you know we got spider mites in here, not fun. But the fish have been doing their job and in addition the mystery snails are stoked. You can see a couple right there working their way up. Um, and they actually laid eggs pretty much right away up top. I broke them off and placed them on some hardscape to keep them out of the water, uh, to keep them humid and out of direct light. Right here you can see the fish eating both spider mites and a little bit of fry food that I sprinkled in. The reason I did this was to encourage that feeding pattern much like you'd hear from a fly fisherman. Once a day I go in, squirt them off the glass into the water, and the fish happily eat them all up. Here I'm using golden pearls. So you can see here on the pothos leaf we have some of that bronzing I talked about in the last video as well as those yellow splotches. That is your telltale sign of spider mites. What has been cool, however, is to watch the fish swim up onto these newly submerged pothos leaves and pluck those mites right off. They've been gobbling them up. Here towards the back, you can see the fish are taking advantage of this newly submerged naturalistic marsh area. Uh, it's been fun to watch them swim through all the plants, go underneath the rocks even, and just pick mites and other little bugs and critters out of the java moss and out of the substrate. The snails have also taken full advantage of this new ecosystem, this new environment, and they're up there eating stuff all day long. Um, it would be cool to see them start laying their eggs up on the hardscape rather than on the glass, but in the meantime, I really don't mind removing it and placing it in an area that I think will be beneficial. The plants are looking fantastic. You can see there's no other signs of splotching or bronzing. Um, no little spider webs on any leaves, so that's good. In the meantime, I'll just keep squirting those bugs down off the glass and into the water and letting the fish eat them up. I also like to go through every now and then with a watering can and just rinse the leaves as well as I can and knock those little critters into the water. Hope you enjoyed this little cut. Hope you don't have spider mites. And if you do, hopefully this helps. Thanks for watching guys. Throw me a like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.